Hey, this is Kits and Snips, and today I have another premium Bandai exclusive product, this being the Selenova Custom Space Type. Now, this kit reuses, of course, the Selenova Runners in a slightly different color, and reuses a lot of the extra parts or add-on kits that you can buy for the Selenova and the other 30-minute mission kits. The only exception to that is there are some custom pieces that are only available with the space type. And of course, a set of water slides that are meant to add to the Selenova's armor for its space typing. Now, I was quite excited to build this kit as I'm always excited for premium Bandai models. So let's go ahead and get in to this build.
And here is the Selenova in its base form, just from what the 30 Minute Missions first released. As you can see, it's fairly basic as all 30 Minutes are without their additional armor and accessory pieces, but it's still overall a nice looking kit with its large bulky legs, the thin arms with the interesting elbow joint, and overall just a very interesting kit to look at. When it comes to height, you're looking at a kit that is just about the same size as your standard RX-78, not too much taller, maybe even just a millimeter or so, but the kits do stand at about the same height. And here it is with its space type armor with both the water slides applied and without. When it comes to the differences armor wise, you're looking at different shoulder pads, a different backpack, extra fuel tanks on the back, different legs from the knee below, different head. Just overall, it adds a lot and the water slides add just a little bit more with the markings on the legs, chest and the shoulder pads. With the new legs on this kit, he begins to tower over the RX-78 as these legs are just so much longer. Even without the additional height of the feet, you can really tell he just dwarfs the RX-78 and is more in line with the new Gundam when it comes to height. And with the amount of accessories it has, it even gives you a second mode that you can build the kit in this being called its space battle mode, which I think is also a very good look for it, as it does, again, reuse some parts that were part of other add-on kits. And that's this kit. Honestly, I like it a lot, and I always love my 30-minute missions and just the amount of stuff they add with these kits. I will say with this kit in particular, I did reach out to some other builders because I was having an issue with this kit toppling over as its legs just didn't seem to want to hold a very steady connection. So it was constantly ragdolling, which did cause me to lose some of the water slides that were on the plastic as I did have to fumble around with it a bit. But upon talking to some other builders, they didn't have the same issue I had which just leads me to believe that maybe I just got a bad mold. That being said, when it comes to the looks of this kit and everything else about it, it is excellent and something I can highly recommend, though you may want to invest in an action base to hold the kit up. Music for this video was once again brought to you by Upbeat, not sponsored, with the song Begushta from Captures. As always, link to the music will be in the description below, so show the artist some love. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I know a lot of you guys come around to see the premium Bandai videos to see what's offered in these kits, especially with the 30 minute missions, so you know what this kit bashing kit is really gonna have inside the box. If you did enjoy the video, of course, leave a like. If you have any questions, that comment section down below is always a great place to ask any questions. There were a lot of additional pieces with this kit that I did not go into, as they were all kind of mishmash pieces that really didn't have a great way to display, but I'm more than happy to add the manual or a link to the manual as it will give you a better idea what you're looking for inside this box. And of course, subscribe. I always have premium Bandai products I'm building, so it'll always give you an idea of what you're expecting out of these monochromatic boxes. As always, this is Kits and Snips signing out saying, have fun building.